Hi everyone, today we're reviewing the movie 10 Cloverfield Lane. It stars John Goodman, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. It's about a woman who finds herself in an underground bunker after a car accident and John Goodman's character, Henry, is the one to put her in this bunker. And he's claiming that the world that she knew is already over because of an attack. Now this movie is the spiritual successor of the movie Cloverfield. So and that movie started about was about monsters attacking New York. This movie takes it a little bit more grounded. You're pretty much caught with three characters. You have Henry, played by John Goodman. You have Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who's uh, who's playing Michelle, and another character named Emmett. Revolves the whole movie revolves around these three living in within this bunker after Henry claims that the world has ended around them because of an attack. This movie sets up a pretty good dynamic between the three characters. The actors played really well and you really do feel that what John Goodman's character Henry is saying is true because he believes it so much and you don't know whether it's it's it, it plays with you a little bit where you don't know if he's actually telling the truth or if if he's actually just one of those uh, survivalists that uh, you hear all around that's always preparing themselves for something like this to happen. And the movie is more of a psychological thriller than it is a movie about monsters. It was basically a movie about these three relationships. and the movie set up a pretty good tone where you do in certain scenes you do feel uncomfortable I was watching this in the IMAX uh, theater and I was hearing all the sounds certain scenes that made me cringe a little bit more because it's not because there's something gory that's happening but because of the situation that these characters are placed in and the movie definitely shines in that where it doesn't involve a lot of gore graphics. It's not very special effects driven in most in the majority of the movie. Again, if you think this is going to be like Cloverfield where monsters are attacking left and right, this is actually a little bit more of the opposite of that. Like, it definitely plays off more of the psychological thriller, which I do appreciate. Instead of having something that's always a jump scare, you actually do feel more of uh, John Goodman's character having his way. And John Goodman did a phenomenal job, by the way. I'm not saying that the other two actors weren't good, but they were all great because they really set off the setting of the what would happen if you're stuck in a bunker with somebody that is potentially dangerous. What do you do at that point? It is a good movie by itself. I would, if I had to rate this movie, I would definitely rate it at a 4.5 because of certain scenes that John Goodman really pulled off well with the other actors. The acting was really on point. Now, I understand this movie's getting mixed reviews, but I definitely enjoyed this movie. I found it refreshing to not to have a movie such as this more in the psychological thriller, made me cringe more than any other scary movie out there right now. Go see it if you if you haven't matinee it. It's definitely worth watching. That's my review of Ten Cloverfield Lane. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys around. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Peace.